Hi everyone, welcome to Cyber Tech channel. So today I'm gonna show you a cool new video about how to install Android OS into a Windows 10 computer. So uh, before we do going to the video, so hope you guys are doing good, safe, and healthy. So stay safe to so that we can survive the situation. So I'm gonna go into the videos. So make sure to go to this URL. So I'll put this URL links in the description of the video. So we need the VirtualBox 6 version software to run the uh, Android OS in a Windows platform. So uh, VirtualBox is a virtual uh, OS installation software. So make sure to download, click here to download the uh, software. So one click download, you can click to download it. Uh, I've already downloaded this uh, software and tested uh, whether it's working or not. So it's working fine so uh, i'm not gonna install this again in my computer i'll show you how to install using the uh, installer uh, and for the os we can select any os nugget uh, you know if we have all the previous open marshmallow and you know um, nugget uh, you know oreo and pi so i'm gonna install pi into this computer so pi is the latest os uh, uh, previous OS. i think uh, it was the last OS uh, which was uh, um, uh, available for Android devices. So click here to download the virtual box and click here to download the Android Pi. Click, click virtual box and download the virtual box VDI 64 bit version to install. So we need to download the if you have a 64 operating system, uh, uh, you need to download the 64 bit version of the safety version of the on android so if you have any doubt on which which platform your operating system supports then you need to go to the dx diac uh, you need to search dx diac and run it so it will show show you how what is the version of windows running on your computer so it will show you if it's whether it's a 64 bit or it's an x86 version of the uh, operating system x86 means it's a 32 bit version and uh, 64 bit means it's a 64 bit version of the operating system so here you can see windows uh, I'm, I'm running a windows 10 pro 64 bit version of the os so i need to install the 64 bit uh, plat 64 bit uh, application there's a uh, there's a benefit in the 64 bit if you have 64 bit windows you can also the that install 32 bit version of the software but if you have a 32 bit so os windows os you can't install any 64 bit application in a 32 bit windows operating system so i'm going to continue this video i've downloaded the two v uh, applications here first you have to install the virtual box so software click here it's a simple installation you need to click next 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 so if anything uh, pop-ups in, uh, in between this just click allow or run so i have already installed this and tested in my computer its voice is uh, working fine you need to click next 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 finish that's it uh, the installation so i'm closing this here so to save the time and uh, you need to make sure to copy the uh, os file from the downloads to the to a windows drive so i have copied it into a drive uh, individual drive here it is and i have extracted the rar file into a folder so this is the file that is going to map in the software virtual software this is a virtual disk interface file so uh, it can be uh, mapped into the virtual manager without any hustle so it will work fine no need to install anything so i'm going to show you that so i have installed already installed the virtual software the virtual software icon will be like this Oracle VM virtual box open it Yes, this is the this is the uh, installed version so it's off. I'm going to show you how to map the virtual drive into the Virtual manager application Ma click machine click new Here you need to make sure that Android and version Android OS Pi and type make sure to se select the type pass Linux because 
all the windows uh, all the android os are linux open source linux software so make sure to select type linux and go to the other type other version as other linux 64 bit version hope you are clear make sure to select uh, type linux version other linux 64 bit if you have a 32 bit version select other other linux 32 bit click next uh, this is the most important part that you need to uh, configure so the, it won't work in a 512 mb ram so make sure you selected the half of the ram of your computer for this virtual box else it will be like laggy uh, not not performing so make sure to select uh, half of the 2gb at least if you have 4gb select 2gb for the computer uh, android os so click next here is the most important part so if you click next it will create a new virtual hard disk that's not what we wanted we need to map uh, the existing you know the um, hard disk file in way in the software so we need to use an existing virtual hard disk file click here and click add we have that file in the m drive that i have extracted so this is that file i'm gonna map in this it's just a single click that we can map this uh, hard disk into this so that OS will automatically start from there. So choose. Yes, it's completed. That's the most important part. After you check it, you need to click create. Once you click create it, you will see a new window like what we see in the background of this uh, pop-up window. So I'm not going to create again because it will create a duplicate. Uh, OS and my computer. So just click. There is no other option. Uh, any dialog box will pop up. You only install the OS into the computer. After that, you need to go to the settings. You'll see. The, after create, you'll see a uh, screen like this. Android Pie OS powered off. And in the in the right side, you can see the settings and the configuration of the virtual system. Click settings. You need to make sure go to system. Uh, you need to make sure to confirm that the memory is uh, half of your computer and in the processor if you have two or if you have four cpus make sure you have provided you have configured at least two cpus for this android OS. else it will be very laggy and outperforming so make sure to uh, provide the uh, cpus make to make sure to correct the cps here that's it uh, for the display need to also share the half memory of the computer i have 128 mem memory uh, display in my computer so i need to share the 64 bit and here you need to select the so it will be like v vga you need to select v virtual box vga so and other than that there is no much settings need to be configured here okay then click ok yes done so what you have to do is click start to launch the os for the first time you run the start button it will take 50 to 30 minutes based on your computer configuration if you are you are running a core i3 computer it will take around 30 minutes to start the computer uh, if you have a good um, uh, cpu like i5 i7 it will boot up like within minutes so for if you have a uh, low low core, low profile uh, cpu and memory for for gb memory it will take so much time in this time I, my computer is an old five years old laptop so it took almost 15 to 20 minutes to boot up the uh, os this is this is this is the first time uh, boot time after that it will automatically start within second you know almost one minute it will boot like in one minute so i'm going to start it here don't touch anything when it uh, executes the uh, boot sequence because uh, this is kind of Linux. If you uh, uh, in term, if you if we interrupt it, it will not start. So wait for it. It will automatically start. As I said, this will take around 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes for uh, for the first time boot. So don't worry, there is no nothing stuck or anything like that. It will always uh, take first time. For all the applications, it will take some time to start from for the first time. So consider that if you have any questions regarding this installation, just 
uh, comment me uh, comment on the comment box or you can join the uh, telegram group that i have so um, i have a telegram group in the telegram the name is cyber tax you can join it if you have any questions also make sure to comment on my comment box in the youtube channel so uh, also subscribe my channel like my channel and like my videos comment my videos that's it so the installation is uh, completed and the voice is started let's wait it will take them some time yes this is the android os user interface so currently the android os is running on a windows os so finally we are done so it took almost 15 to 30 minutes to set up the, for the first time so so don't worry guys uh, it will take almost an, uh, you know 10 to 15 or 10 for depending upon the performance of the device uh, of the laptop if you have a high performing laptop don't worry it will start up immediately so for me this is an old laptop which is a five years old laptop so it takes took almost 30 minutes to set up for the first time so after that it will run fast uh, so don't worry uh, i'm going to go to the full you can see the mouse pointer is inside the you know uh, the uh, inside the uh, OS uh, Android OS so I'm going to uh, go into the full screen mode click view full screen okay if, please note that when if you go uh, full screen then you can go back to the windows if you want to go back to the windows you need to click the right control button plus F like right control button plus F so you can go back to the no uh, windows mode so i'm gonna full, go into full screen this is the android pi running on a windows machine so you can click here for the settings if you want so some kind of finish setup for the first time so i'm, I'm we are using that uh, or, or operating system for the first time so we need to click finish some settings so i think we need to add uh, the you know we need, to, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi and you know, let's do it later so you can do it by yourself after installation uh, so finish virtual box setup let me start okay so uh, right uh, it's we need to map the uh, gmail account here so don't worry you can follow the instruction like we do in the mobile phones i'm not uh, doing anything like that and i'm not wasting any time more so just install it in your uh, uh, you know your windows machine and check for the first time like like we do in the android phones we need to set up using your email address if you want or else uh, if you need to download application from the play store you need to set up an email account uh, for using the play store else you can skip the settings as i said earlier you can uh, connect your uh, google account and install the uh, applications you want and you know that's it uh, if you have any questions just uh, post it in the uh, comments so if you want to know anything else regarding this comment box just add a comment in the comment box so please subscribe my channel please like share and subscribe my channel thank you guys thanks for your uh, thanks for watching my video thanks for your subscription stay safe stay healthy bye bye guys